Welcome to Elden Ring. So many of you have been commenting, saying you cannot wait for this game to release. So what I have done is gone through other videos, I've gone through wiki pages, all that sort of stuff. I've got myself some knowledge towards these classes, so I'm going to share that with you. And I'm hoping from this, I can give you guys an idea as to what class you want to start the game with when it does release very, very soon. There are 10. We're going to go through every single one of them in the video. And just quickly before we get into the video, if you're not currently subbed to the channel, make sure you do sub to turn notifications on. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. All support is greatly appreciated. And if you want to support me further as a creator, then check out the links in the description. And let's get into it. So with these classes, they are in no particular order. I've just gone through, got all 10, and let's jump into the first one, which is going to be Profit. Profit will be set for pure faith and mind. I would say this class is definitely not for a starter. It will rely on incantations, which is basically magic in the game. However, sorceries, incantations, magic, it's looking like it's going to be very powerful. It looks as though there's going to be some cheeses and stuff. You can get away with defeating bosses really easy. Casters and stuff might actually be the way to go. However, Profit, I wouldn't really recommend it for a starter. Also, if you are looking at the armor and you're worried, you don't like the look of it, all that sort of stuff, don't panic, you will get more armor as you play through the game. It will look completely different, so for now I would say just ignore the armor that you're seeing on these characters and just pick one over the stats more than anything else. Profit will be like a paladin build. It's going to be focused on faith and mind. It's going to be a little bit of a hybrid in terms of spells and melee. However, because there is low dexterity, you'll see that it's 8 you're not going to be able to use fast and agile weapons and all their attacks and stuff that well. And dexterity also increases your cast speed and decreases your fall damage. So due to the cast speed being increased through dexterity and it having low dexterity, you would have to put some points into it. And that's why I recommend not starting with this class. Number two we are going to look at is Confessor. High dexterity, faith and mind. So it's going to be a little bit of a mix between melee and miracles. It's a very good starting class if sorcery doesn't necessarily appeal to you. If you're looking for a faith build, then Confessor is definitely the way to go. Number three is Vagabond. It's like a knight class, the standard go-to. It's definitely the most forgivable class in the game. It's got high vigor, dexterity and strength. It is mostly an all-round character. It is probably the most common class to use if you want a quality build. And Vagabond will be a definite go-to if you want to use any non-magic weapon in the game. Next up we have Hero, similar to the Warrior class in previous games. You're going to have high strength, endurance and vigor. Again, if you don't want sorceries, this is another good starter. Hero is going to be best for a strength build. So when you are playing with Hero, if you decide to, make sure you focus on Vigor, Endurance and Strength. Number 5, the Warrior. It's a pure dexterity build using fast and agile weapons. As I said, dexterity will also increase your cast speed and it will decrease your fall damage. So if you want more of an all-round katana wielding class, definitely choose the warrior. And I'm interested to know which class you guys are going to start with, so let me know in the comments. I'm probably going to start off with the Vagabond. I don't have too much experience in these games, but we'll see how it goes. I might mix it up and play with the Vagabond a little bit, get used to the game, and then switch it up to a tougher class. Number six, we have the Bandit. It's like the Thief class from previous games. You'll have a good mix of Dexterity, Arcane, and Endurance. Arcane is basically luck, so you will get yourself some good drops. And because you're getting good drops, you will also get a high chance of getting yourself some very good Dexterity-based weapons. Number 7 is the Samurai. High Dexterity and Endurance for using Katanas and Bows could definitely be a safe starting class. You're going to start with a katana, and this class is very, very similar to Vagabond, but it switches one faith for one arcane, 
And as I said, Arcane is essentially luck. So if you want the easiest start in the game, and you want Faith, then go with Vagabond. And if you want luck, then go with the Samurai, as it just switches out the one stat point. And they are both very forgiving classes. They've got the most room for error, so I would definitely recommend Vagabond and Samurai for starters. Then we have Wretch, the weirdest class in the game. You're going to start off naked. I've seen a lot of people say that they want to start with Wretch. However, it's only really used if you want the game to be really, really hard. You'll start at level 1, base stats of 10. You will get a few points to bring it up to like the level of other character classes. It also gets used quite a lot because they seem to be cheap to upgrade. It's not recommended at all for starters. It's pretty much just if you want to do a challenge run. So if you're starting out with the game Elden Ring for the first time, you've never played any Dark Souls game or anything like that, then do not try Wretch straight away unless you really want to go through pain and suffering. Then into the penultimate, we have Astrologer. It's a sorcerer or magic class. Intelligence is going to be your magic strength, and mind will control how many spells you can remember at one time. You've got low vigor and low strength with this class, so only start with this one if you want to be pulling off a lot of spells and all that sort of stuff. It will be the best for pure casting with magic. You're going to use this class at a distance, and as I said at the beginning of the video, you're probably going to be able to cheese some of the bosses in the game using this class. And then last but not least, we have the Prisoner, one of the funniest looking classes in the game. Half Dexterity and Half Intelligence for players, again, that want to mix melee and sorcery, similar to the Assassin from previous games. And this for an Enchanted Knight is going to be another hybrid that is going to definitely benefit from mixing it up. So as I said, for any starter, someone that's wanting to get into the game easily, I would go Vagabond or Samurai, depending if you want Faith or if you want Arcane, so if you want extra luck. However, it's entirely up to you. You can start with Wretch if you want to. It's just going to be a lot more challenging. And I mean, it depends on your personal playstyle. There are classes in there for melee, there are classes in there for spells and magic and all that cool stuff. So maybe the day the game comes out, if you're buying it then, you might want to start with, say, Samurai, you want the luck. Next day, you might want to start a new class and you might go with the hero or the bandit or something like that. But that was a look at all 10 classes in Elden Ring. Not only that, but to have a look at their stats, their purpose, all that sort of stuff, and to give you guys a direction as to which classes are going to be the best to start the game with for the very first time. That is going to wrap up the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments, and also which class you're going to be using. And I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Yeah.